to the LZ compound. This place is insane and it has been so hard keeping a secret. Believe it or not, this has been going on behind the scenes for the past six months and we've officially finally just moved in and I'm dying to share so much about this place with you guys. And now we're about to get started. To start out an epic first at this place, this insanely giant magical place. For the first time ever in my life, pretty much every single one of my cars is indoors in the same building at the same time. Look at how magical this looks. Guys, as a car geek, like words can't express the amount of joy and satisfaction that I feel just walking in the center of this aisle of all my favorite cars, literally all my cars, that tell the story of how I've gotten where I am today, that you guys have been a part of, and then now, with this place, is really just beginning. If you're new to this channel, I want to thank you for joining. I can let you know right off the bat that most of our videos aren't like the beginning of this. Uh, both Mike and Crispy knocked it out of the park and they put this vision of this wild place that I had drifting around and involving all our friends to life in the most magical way possible. And you know, typically we're making vlogs, working on cars and hanging out, but I can tell you at this place, the new compound, there's going to be a lot of exciting stuff happening. So if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, join us because this is, well, I should go ahead and say this room, as you guys could see from that full compound tour, there's 30 acres here and this building that we're standing in right here isn't even one tenth of the indoor space here. There's so much cool stuff, there's so much exciting stuff to uncover and it's physically impossible for me to do that all in one video. So today we're going to talk a little bit about this place and hang out in this showroom. To celebrate us moving into this amazing compound, I am doing a very special edition commemorative bundle that comes with a very special shirt based around the S13 and all the forest here that will never be printed again. Two very cool compound stickers that I'm not going to show you guys yet, but I know that you'll like, as well as a photo book with a lot of the behind the scenes action that went down here and some of our favorite still frames from the video that I'm going to sign as a thank you to you guys for supporting this new journey that we've just started. It will be available until Monday and because it's a pre-order thing and we had bad luck when we used the new skateboard supplier in the past and did that. We're way overestimating the amount of time it's going to take for us to get those orders out to you guys so we can make sure we surpass your expectations and all the vendors that we're using are vendors that we already have relationships with so uh, I know you guys will be stoked. But more information on that will be on the site and in the description. Let's talk about this place. Also in case I didn't make it clear enough in this video, this entire property is ours. This entire compound, every square inch of concrete, every building that you guys saw in this video, it still doesn't feel real. We've been here like three days now shooting this video and words cannot explain the feeling. Coming from working in a little single car garage at a house that I rented by UCF to this insane automotive compound. It's just somewhere that I, I never thought I would be in my life. I couldn't even imagine. I still can't believe a place like this exists and so close to where I live yet. Back at FD Texas, which was about six months ago, uh, I got fed up after I made an offer on an industrial building by my house, got outbid by a cash buyer, and I started looking for land to build my own place. And for whatever reason, this place was listed under a land. I found it and I can vividly remember all of us, the whole team, sitting around the dining room table at this Airbnb, watching a slideshow of this place. And it was a pipe dream. It was something that was so unbelievably far to reach. But we decided, why not give it a chance? So James and Zach went and looked at this place while I was on Drift Week, sent some photos, gave me some more information. And after learning more about this place, we went all in, gave it everything that we could got because we knew there might be a chance we could get it. One of the biggest hurdles of a uh, purchase like this, because I do own it, this isn't a renting, Thing, was finding a lender that understands the nature of the business of what I do both on the motorsports side and on the YouTube side and I have to extend a massive thank you to Fifth Third Bank, specifically Alan at the motorsports division. I was connected to him through Vaughn Gittin Jr. over at RTR where he helped him secure the new RTR lab and if it wasn't for him, this place might not have been possible. Between him, James Busson every day and my sister who's a real estate agent. They've all worked so hard behind the scenes that I cannot give them enough appreciation for what they've done and what they've started for us here at LZMFG. Like I said guys, uh, if I made this entire video a tour of the whole property, I knew that it would end up being a three hour video. Instead, over the course of the next couple videos, we're going to explore. We've already made some pretty exciting findings and I'm going to show you guys some of the behind the scenes stuff at the end of this video as well as some of our favorite shots that didn't make the cut for the first little intro scene. I do have to add a disclaimer though, uh, that is the driveway that I use it is not a racetrack. We do not intend to drift on it every day. I'm both saying that to set your guys' expectations realistic so my friends don't hit me up thing as a drift track and so our neighbors don't think we're going to be doing that every day because I was extremely scared and paranoid the entire time that we're filming because literally our first days here, I am ripping the S13 back and forth, back and forth to get all these shots and um, man, what a, what a special thing 
to be able to drive my first drift car, the car that started my automotive YouTube journey around my brand new 30 acre property. That wouldn't be mine without the help and support of all the people around me, friends, families, employees, and of course, more than anyone else, you guys. Whatever I make off this YouTube thing, whatever I make from sponsors, guys, I constantly try to put it back into making more and more crazy content. And I know that this is the next step we needed to chase our journey of building better and cooler cars and create the best possible automotive content we can ever imagine. And I know that we can do that and I could not be more excited. It's easy to get burnt out on YouTube and I can tell you this place has ignited a passion so strong that I don't even know where to begin. This building alone guys, there's like six sections. It keeps going and going and there's more and more exciting stuff in every room and you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out more. But enjoy this section at the end of the video. There's some funny bloopers, behind the scenes stuff and some really awesome shots that Mike and Crispy got that didn't make the cut. But thank you guys. This is because of you. This is because of us. This place is what's to show for your support, for me and the team over all these years. And it's really exciting. I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. Let's do it. until he gets a fish. How quick, Zach, come on. We're all... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
scope out my jump. Useless thing seen in a while. Dirt drops, rev limiters, handbrake pulls, clutch kicks. I thought the the trans mount or the diff was gonna explode, but she hung in there. Um, we may have had a side by side casualty. We'll see. We gotta we gotta hit the drawing board with that one and do some things with it. But yeah, man. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The mark of your hey, people. Boy. Yep. She's broken in now. Does it feel like yours now? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. What is it gonna it's, take? I, You've still, abused like every square inch of this entire property. It still feels too good to be true to okay. where I'm just like waiting for a phone call or I'm waiting for Popo to go woo, 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 pull in and be like, you're not doing that here no more today, boy. But like, uh, <laughs> yeah, wanna know. say that again? Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, the yeah, sheriff's yeah. here, oh no. Oh yeah, county sheriff here, you ain't doing that no more here, boy. Tell you what, I'll hop around right on my tractor, I'll give him a Corona and have him a good point. No, they don't drink Corona out here. What are they drinking out here? Uh, bush. Bush. Yep. Yep. <laughs> drink some bush in the forest or drink some forest in the bush. Tell you what, I don't know. But, uh, listen. <laughs> I feel like you just got like a NASCAR podium and you have to like operate the car. It's so nice. Okay, yeah. We can don't start it. Yeah, no, the shoulder, oh yeah, that, that's, ooh, ooh, got the whip going, got the whip. Casualty. Worth it. Last day. Second to last scene. All the Aztec stuff out of that house and just put stuff like that on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. James, I have proof of you doing a bad thing. That is a ladder stair. <laughs> What is Get going em. on? Get them. So many fines. <laughs> when you said 